Have you ever debated whether the 308 is actually a better cartridge than the 30-06? We all know that the 30-06 can produce more velocity and energy, but how does that actually translate to penetration? In today's video, I want to test this by shooting each cartridge at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever cartridge penetrates the steel the deepest will be considered the winner. What I'll be using today is this 18-inch 30-06 and this 16 inch setup in 308. I know the barrel lengths aren't quite the same, but that's all I had, so I apologize about that. Luckily, in terms of ammo, we'll be comparing apples to apples. Literally everything is the exact same except for the caliber. I'm really hoping that the device on the end of the 308 will help make it a little bit more fair of a test. Well, how's about we get this testing started with a quarter inch mild steel plate? We are gonna have some serious issues if neither one of these cartridges can penetrate that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like that first shot completely destroyed our little dirt mound there. But the 308 went straight through. As expected. Now let's see if the 30-06 can do the same. Looks like the 30-06 went straight through as well. Really no surprises there either. Well, it didn't surprise me that either one of those cartridges could go right through the quarter inch steel. But how's about we step it up a notch? Let's see if they stand a chance against this 3 8 inch plate. For those of you who aren't familiar with the size of these cases, here's a 308 and here's a 30-06. If we put them up side by side, we can see that the 30-06 dwarfs the 308. But that doesn't tell the whole tale because they're only running about 150 feet a second of each other, which really isn't that much different given the size difference. That 16 inch 308 went straight through the 3 8 inch plate. That is super impressive, I was not expecting that. I'm assuming that the 30-06 is gonna do the same, but you already know what assuming does, so let's go ahead and find out. If you find this testing useful so far, I'd sure appreciate if you snipe that like button. I'd also recommend that you go and check out my website, link in the description below. Well guys, call the Sniper Academy, cause look at that group right there. It couldn't get too much closer than that. The 30-06 went straight through with an almost identical hole to the 308. This next plate is gonna be a real challenge though. Half inch. I have literally not had a single cartridge go through one of these yet. But let's see if these ones can do the trick. Doesn't look like there's an exit hole so far, but let's go ahead and check. Whoa, look at that bulge right there. Unfortunately, it means that we did not make it the whole way through. Still really deep penetration though. At first glance, the 30-06 seemed to do a little bit more damage. It even punched a hole in the back, but that could have been a compromised area. I guess that means that we need to go back to the bench to get some measurements. Let's see which one actually penetrated deeper. Back at the bench. Just from looking at the front, I can already tell that the 30-06 penetrated deeper than the 308. And don't even get me started with the bulges on the back. However, with my naked eye, I'm not able to tell just how deep each one of these cartridges penetrated the steel. So how's about we do some grinding to get rid of that nasty spalling? It's time to grind. Just take a look at that nice, shiny steel. Upon initial inspection, it appears that both of the bullets produce similar entrance holes. Although the 30-06 looks a little bit smaller. And yes, I did get a haircut. Alright, we got the 308 up first. Looks like we got .404 inches. That's pretty good, but let's see if the 30-06 will do any better. It's the moment of truth. That 30-06 looked deeper to my eye, but let's see if that was actually the case. 
Oh wow, 0.551 inches. Guys, that's literally thicker than the half inch plate, so I don't know how that makes sense other than the bulge on the back. So I bet that if I'd used a full length 24 inch barrel on the 30-06, it would have had just enough velocity and energy to go straight through this half inch steel plate. But that could just be me assuming again. I think that we learned that the increased velocity and energy of the 30-06 helps it to penetrate just a little bit better than the 308. If you want to see more steel penetration testing like this, let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.